Hey everybody, welcome back to The Average. Today I thought what I would do is that I'm going to test out these bad boys. So stick around if you want to see how these are. These are acrylic paint pens, so they're sort of similar to Posca pens. I saw a lot of people using them, so I started to think, oh, I want to try those because I really like Posca pens, so maybe I'll like the ways that, that these work. And they have like some really nice colours going on. I'm going to be honest, I've already tried out most of these. I've done a little swatch test um, here. So I as you can see it is pretty opaque and they go over each other very well. I left one of the paint pens not used, I haven't used, so I could show you how easy it is to get them going because something that I found with Posca pens is that they take a little time to uh, get going. I don't know if that's just me but it's been the case a few times so this one is like as you can see it's white and the paint has not come through yet and then you just do the pump the pumpy thing that people do with paint pens and it's already come through. They've got some nice colours, I really like shock blue and magenta, shockingly. And the turquoise one came out quite nice. I do really like the light grey blue. And this one obviously I haven't used before. This is called Poison Green. Hmm. It's pretty handy because they have all the names just on the lids here. They also have the instructions on how to open them. They also have an indicator of how full each of these are so you can see when you're running out because a handy thing about these is that they are refillable. So they're refillable, they're semi-gloss, highly opaque, permanent, good good UV resistance, quick drying. Uh, for nearly all surfaces, it says with an asterisk, so I guess most services it means 50 color shades so they have 50 shades of these and exchangeable tips pretty cool they're mixable compatible with all for one acrylic spray paint pretty cool yeah so I just think these are really nice and I've been obviously testing them out a little bit and I think that they're just really easy to use and quite precise I know that the Posca pens are really good as well but these I think they're about the same price but I think these are just I, I don't know I just prefer them I think the colors are nicer there's more more of a range of colours. So that's my opinion. Obviously, you guys can make up your own mind about them. Obviously, this video is not sponsored. I saw these and I thought this is the kind of art style that I wanted to head in the direction of after having a week of kind of exploring different art. I had like quite an inspiring week of art and I've just been doing like loads of different things. So just experimenting and going for it. It's been quite a good time and I, I saw these pens and I thought, yep, I want to try them. The only thing that I will say that is to these pens detriment is they do take a little time to dry. So I'm going to have to be patient. I'm not really a very patient person. I've got some different types of paper here that I want to just try swatching on to see how the paint pens handle it because obviously these are made for different types of objects so you can pretty much paint on anything with them as it said. So I've got these different papers. I've got just a normal really thin paper, a cardstock paper and some tracing paper. I would say it does leave a little bit of texture. I'm not sure if it's from the pen or if it's picking up granules of the paper. I think it might be a combination of the both. So on the card it layers quite nicely. I don't know if you can see because it is quite hard to see it but it does kind of pick up the paper a little bit, leave a little bit of a texture which is fine and we'll try it on this really thin paper yeah that's fine and now i'm going to try it on the tracing paper and so far that is the smoothest outcome i really like the way they look on the tracing paper if you're um new to my channel you probably won't know but if you're an old school averager i don't know what i'm saying then you'll know that i'm a big fan of tracing paper because i've used it a lot in mixed media stuff and i like using it depends what your the look you're going for you can see it kind of works quite nicely on paper it does pick up a lot. What I'm interested in is to know if it layers well because what I have planned today I want to layer a lot of paints on top of each other so we're gonna have to see if that works out. What I've done is I've drawn a little sketch here on my paper. This is watercolor paper and I thought I would try it this out obviously it's a little bit toothy so that is probably not gonna help but we'll see maybe it will help maybe it won't but what I've drawn here is a game that I would love to play because of all this e3 stuff coming out I was like thinking of different um, things that I could make different games so I was drawing a lot in my sketchbook <laughs> I had one called Tingle Smash because I don't know if you know the Zelda universe but there's this character called Tingle and it's kind of a family joke that we all hate Tingle I say family, me and my brother um, yeah, so I just thought that would be funny and then I thought I would do a pesto puzzler game because I really like puzzle games with bubbles <laughs> 
But then I settled on Bath House Simulator. I thought that would be quite fun to do. So I have this sketch and what my main concerns are is that I've used a graphite pencil and I'm not sure how the paint pens will react to it. So I think I'm going to do a little bit of a quick test and just try it out. Okay, let's go. Okay, it's kind of, it's kind of mixing with it, which I think is fair. Um, <laughs> that's fair. It's fair, universe. I see you. But yeah, I think, I think it'll be all right. Yeah, I think it'll work. So what I want to do is do the light colors first and then the darker colors afterwards because that just makes sense even though they are really opaque i'm not sure how well they layer yet so this is a good first test i want to make the cartridge of the game i want it to make it pink so we're going to go with the fuchsia pink the lighter pink because i think that it will work better i do know that recently scrawler box because i saw a few youtubers doing the scrawler box they put in a molotov chrome pen and that looked really cool so i was really excited to try these after that because i only saw that those videos after I um, purchased these. So let's go in with the fuchsia pink because I really like pink game cartridges. Shockingly a big fan of pink. I'm gonna rub this out a bit actually. I don't want to pick up all the lines but just a little bit to help not have it too... Uh, what am I saying? I'm sorry guys, it's really early. I've had my coffee but you know, I can't speak which is great. Thanks for watching. I just want to pick up some of the lines so it doesn't mix too much with the paints is what I'm trying to say. Thank you Brain for finally providing me with that information. So yeah, like I said, this would be a game I would love to play. Obviously this is the bathhouse from Spirited Away and if you play like Harvest Moon or Stardew Valley, I was kind of thinking it would be a great game to have that kind of same kind of theme but with a bathhouse so you have to build your bathhouse from the, the bottom up so you start out with like a really basic bath house and you're trying to get the clients in and then you upgrade to like better baths and better like staff and yeah. I thought it'd be fun. So if anybody's good at making games, can we, uh, can you help me out here and make it for me? Because I can't make games, I wish I could. But that would be awesome. So this is Bath House Simulator. Yeah, we're getting a lot of um, flakage, is what I'm gonna describe it as. And I don't actually think it's coming from the tip of the pen. I think it's actually coming from the paper that's being pulled up. So I think obviously I've used the wrong type of paper. Guys, don't use watercolor paper. Um, that's probably a big duh for a lot of you. But this is new to me, okay guys? I haven't used these pens before. I think next time I'm gonna buy <laughs> the bigger ones. Overall, the color laid down quite nicely, but I think there is a lot of flakage um, you can just dust it off. I'm not going to do it now because I've got to wait for the paint to dry. I'm not sure how long it will take to dry fully. That's the only thing because I'm unfamiliar with it. But it seems to be pretty dry. Here it's much drier so it doesn't take that long to dry. But it is something to be aware of as you dry it out because you don't want to smudge everything. I'm going to go with shock blue for the sky. What I'm going to do is just do some clouds though. So Because you know in, in Spirited Away they have like lots of clouds coming out like that. I'm not sure if I want to rub out more paint. Pencil. I don't know if you can see that, but some of the pencil is showing through. But I kind of like that because then it gives me a guide of where I'm going to lay down darker colours. I think I'm going to leave it and just learn for next time if it doesn't look good. Okay, so I think, because obviously we have limited colours, the bathhouse is red and green and then red and brown. So what I'm going to do is use this pink for brown, maybe, or the bright yellow. Um, and then I'm going to use this colour for the bathhouse, the slightly darker pink, uh, the red bits, and then this for the green bits, because it's green, everybody. <laughs> Ooh, this is hard because I don't know where to begin. And if, you know, I make a mistake, I think what I can do is just go over it in theory, because these are supposed to be super opaque. Okay, I think the finer details are quite hard to do with this size of pen. I think they come in a smaller size. These are two millimeters, by the way. Would you guys play this game? I know I would. Spirited Away is probably one of my favorite films. Definitely my favorite Ghibli film. I don't care if that makes me a basic B, just uh, it just is. just think I really like the world. Which is weird because I don't think I really like Alice in Wonderland that much and it's kind of a very similar story, isn't it? Of her getting whisked away to a uh, fantasy land that's a bit bizarre and... I think what I really like overall is the character development in that film as well. I just like it. I like that movie a lot. 
I'm not sure how accurate this drawing is, but I'm enjoying it. I think that looks quite interesting. What do you guys think? I'm gonna wait for it to dry a little bit first because I don't want to be spurned. Let's try the green on the top. Composition, I just thought it'd be cool, like this kind of game cover to hint at the bathhouse. I think it would be cool to keep this artwork without line, but I also think it might need the line work. Let's see once I've finished coloring this in, how that will work. I think that this green is the least opaque so far, but going over it kind of works. Um, I'm going to use this purple violet to line this building and I'm going to use it for the windows and stuff as well because actually, oh, you know what, no, I'm going to colour the windows in with this blue first because they would be reflecting the light on the outside, right? And then I'm going to go in with that purple. Have you guys, have any of you used these pens before? And I'm just super late to the party or, you know, what's going on? Tell me your story. Okay. I didn't colour these bits in. Now I'm going to use this as the dark browns. I went in too quick. See, I told you guys that's what was going to happen because I have zero patience. And now I've done this. I didn't even realise how much my hands were picking up paint as well. That was a good lesson to learn. That's what I keep saying, guys, because it makes me feel better and doesn't make me cry. Where was I? Okay, yeah, we're going back in with this scary... I think as well I was... I had the intention to line everything, but I think I'm just going to line bits and bobs. You know what? I'm going to do the outline with this colour. I kind of just went for that then and didn't think that through, but there we go. It's giving a bit of shine to some of the windows. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. This is white, I know that, so this needs to be pink underneath. Um, I think I'll use, because I was going to use grey for the pipe here, but I think I'm going to use pink to just keep, I, I mean, I can make it pink and then go over it if it looks too weird. Does that work? Maybe if I outline the top or something. It kind of blends in too much with the background, it just looks like something that should be in the background. So I'll use the light grey once it's dried a bit because it's super, super wet. I'm worried about doing the typography because I think that's where it's all going to go wrong. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to keep it white and then use the green on the on the typography. Actually, let's do a quick hand check. Yeah, my hands are fine. Not covered in paint like before. I think another cool thing is if I do make a mistake, then when I if I did the outline of the label, if I did the label background a different colour then I could just go over it. I mean, I don't want to do that because I like how it looks now with the white. But you know, if it was the last resort, we have that to resort to. Okay, now I'm just going to go outline the the game. This needs to be grey. Colour looks nice. Um, I need to go over here, but I'm not sure if that's dry. So what we'll do is we'll do the out... The... What am I saying? The outline here. Not sure how straight that was, but whatever. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's just go for it, guys. I say let's go for it, guys. Like we're on a team, and you, you're here with me, but you're not here with me. Yeah, just adding a few details to the game cartridge because oh no, my hand touched paint. It definitely touched wet paint. Okay, only a little bit. <laughs> Isn't it satisfying when you draw a straight line and it just works out? Not like that, that's the complete opposite of what I meant. No. Okay, I should, probably shouldn't have drawn that. Okay, my camera died just as I made a mistake. And I think what I'm gonna do, instead of trying to fix it and making the line really thick, I'll just leave it, because maybe it's quite interesting visually anyway, that mistake. That's what I'm gonna say. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave it at that and not do anything else to this piece, because I think it looks really cool, and I don't want to ruin it, because sometimes you know when you, you don't know when to stop, basically, and I think I know when to stop right now, and it's gonna be now. So overall, I think these paint pens are pretty awesome. I really like the results that they give me. Yeah, they give a little bit of um, paint paper picking up -ness. I don't know the term, you guys will tell me, I'm sure. And yeah, I'm probably gonna try and buy some more different colors. I definitely saw like a pastel set, which I'm very intrigued about and I'm here for. That's it guys. 
thanks for watching tell me what you think about the art today and let me know if you've used these pens before i'm interested to hear if anyone has because they're a pretty new thing for me to find i probably that sounds pretty dumb to some people who know the art items quite well but some people don't know stuff okay so yeah um thanks for watching guys i will see you next time i was gonna say please like and subscribe but i'm pretty tired of saying that and you know do what you want okay thank you bye